My uh, first guest tonight received an Academy Award for her work in Boys Don't Cry. Beginning today, you can see her with Al Pacino and Robin Williams in Insomnia. Please welcome Hilary Swank. I'm very good. Good. Exciting good. night tonight. A lot happening. We might have to break away I for know, some live reports. I know. I'm very excited about that. Thanks for playing along. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. That bad guy's really doing some amazing jumps. He's and... incredible. I don't know who's in that car. I but know. God love him. Uh, <laughs> now, you know, we have something in common, I found out What's today. I didn't, well, I didn't know you were you're a big animal lover, yeah. as, as am I. But you took it to the next level. You actually swam with dolphins. That was something you always wanted to do. Yeah, actually. I mean, it's maybe... I can't say I've always wanted to do it. It's something that I would have liked to have done, but mm -hmm. you know, I don't really want to get in their habitat and mess things up. But I did happen to go uh, to Hawaii with my husband on our honeymoon, and um, there were wild dolphins that were swimming. And um, I are they nice the dolphins? I mean, is it? I, I don't know what that experience nice. is like. Well, the thing is, is we did go to a place where we heard wild dolphins swam, and we were there for eight days, and they never came and swam around. And mm -hmm. I said to Chad that if they did come even when we were about to leave like if we're getting in our car and they're come they come into the bay then I am running down there and I'm, <laughs> I'm swimming with them mm -hmm. so of course as we're walking out of our hotel room the dolphins come and I was kind of but they I like had taunting my... you <laughs> 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 not exactly like that but it felt like it yeah um, but I did have my swimsuit on so I was like stripping as I was running down to the water wow. they knew that I would do that if, yeah. the, if no I <laughs> yeah. wasn't naked or right, anything right. I heard a yeah. Um, Sounds good. Yeah. And, I bet the dolphins were like, whoa! <laughs> it's Hillary Swank! You know. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, so I did, I did. I got in the water and, and ran in and swam with them. And really? It was, and it was exciting? It was very exciting. Yeah, it was... Yeah, but I had eaten... <laughs> well, the, what I'm just going to say, I don't know, is this is a very exciting part of my story, but I had eaten, um, you know, only a little bit before, and you know how they say to rest before you swim? Right. I, I don't know if it was the excitement or all of it together, but I threw up. <laughs> you threw up on dolphins? <laughs> Isn't that terrible? That's terrible. Like, it these is. beautiful, lovely creatures. And then, oh, hot. <laughs> They still stuck around, so I guess they're unconditional. Now, is that, but that's not something you do often, like throwing no. up. That's not. Oh, well, when I get excited. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. Well, I can see it's yeah, really a I'm thrill kidding. for you to be here. No, yeah. Actually, it's. it's I, if you I, don't throw up now, I'll be hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, That's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. Um, no, actually, it's something that I've this never happened to me before. But my nephew's cousins throw up when he gets scared. He get when he gets scared. Yeah. That is so weird. It's like a party trick or something that they can do. It's kind of. I. I think it's. It's. I don't. I think it would be unfortunate on Halloween yeah. and certain <laughs> yeah, different right. like Boo, holidays, bah, you, know. you know. All I know is my brother-in-law dressed up in a um, like a an out like a this scary outfit when they were camping mm -hmm. um like uh, bigfoot or something and he pump he saw bigfoot and started throwing up right so people don't play those tricks on him anymore exactly. yeah that's the good thing <laughs> now what about uh I, I, you live here in the city in I new do. york I and do. it's hard it's beautiful here, here. <laughs> yes it's beautiful gorgeous view we have uh <laughs> i think i live right there yeah there you are <laughs> oh wait you're in the photo um <laughs> but uh but I'm curious how you have, can you have more than, can you have more than like a dog in the city or a cat? Because I have a dog and it's a lot of work. Yeah, it's a good question, I have to say, because I have two dogs, well, Chad and I have two dogs, a cat, a parrot, and a bunny. A bunny? I thought yeah. a bunny was, I mean, I always think of bunny as like a little girl wants a bunny, but once you're past that age, you don't want a bunny anymore because you realize it's a rat that's, you know. That's not true. No? You Am I going to get in trouble now? I hope my bunny, what if my bunny's watching tonight? I don't know. He's going to flip to an in infomercial. Uh, He's going to flip to the pet of rodeo. Yeah, right. I'll watch that. I know. I'm just, I'm just curious, like. What's it like to have a bunny? I've never had a bunny. Um, well, bunnies are actually amazing pets. They're, you know, he hangs out in our apartment. He hops around. We take him on walks. We... Well, how do you take him on a walk? I mean, <laughs> does he hop along with well, you? Does he... He has, um, actually, this harness 
so it's kind of like a leash. But we don't walk him like on the streets of New York. We get right. him to the park and then let him down. Except I have to tell you, um, we have a new neighbor um, in our apartment building who saw Chad and had read that you know, we take him out in the park, and she said, you know, I read that article, and you know, I don't have my bunny anymore because my bunny died, and I would love to come visit your bunny. Can I please visit your bunny? And we're like, yeah, of course. Come visit the bunny. Right. And <laughs> Chad said, you know, well, what happened to the bunny? And she said that she took it to the park on a walk, and it had a heart attack. A bunny had a heart attack? They have very, they get spooked very easily. They have little hearts, and I so, just don't picture a bunny no. like, like, ah! Part of the story is that she wanted to see our bunny, but right. she didn't warn us that you maybe shouldn't do that anymore. Right, don't. <laughs> don't, you know? yeah. Right? That's just a funny image to me of the bunny. I'm terrible. Uh, first of all, I shouldn't say that it's funny. I said it's funny the bunny died, and I also said a bunny is a rat. I know. <laughs> my apologies. And you want me to come back? Yeah, my apologies to the bunny community. I'm very sorry. <laughs> What's up about insomnia? This movie, uh, yeah, everyone seems to really like this movie. They really do, and I can say that I'm really proud to be a part of it. And Great um, cast. Great, great Al Pacino. Does it get better than that? It's, he's, he's Al Pacino. I mean, he's, he's Al Pacino, that's all you have to say. Yeah, well, Robin you Williams. can say Al Pacino. Because, that's true. Because he's Al Pacino. Yeah. He's amazing. You gotta stop saying that on this show. I thought it was late, you know? Yeah, it's late, so we can say that now. Uh, no, but I mean, when you when you say his name, I mean, it you have to say it that, that way. Yeah, I that's mean, okay. But it's true. He's an icon. He's a legend. You know, he's incredible. And Robin's pretty amazing himself. Robin Williams. <laughs> thank you for thank you for showing restraint on that one, though. I mean, he's Robin freaking Williams. Uh, well, we have a clip here from Insomnia. What right. do we need to know? Um, I think if you have the clip, um, where There's no, I... it doesn't say what the clip is down there. Okay, It well, just says, Conan, I, I... speak. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's the, don't let Hillary swear. Yeah, no. right there. No, um, actually, it's the scene where, um, I pick, um, Al Pacino's character up for the first time, and, um, you know, I'm this fledgling detective, and he's this amazing detective, and I'm letting him know how much I like him. Okay, let's take a look at this clip from Insomnia. It's... It's so incredible to be working with you, Detective Dormer. I've followed all of your cases. Theodore Dinelli, Frank Prudhomme, uh, the Ocean Park shootings, and especially the Leland Street murders. Is that where uh, Ronald Langley cut you in the basement of 325 Leland Street? You certainly did your homework, Detective. The Leland Street murders was my case study at the Academy. So I'm going to just take you guys over to the lodge and no, drop just your take bag. us to the station. Right. We need to get started. Most homicides are solved by work done in the first 72 hours. Well, it's 48 hours. We're a day behind. But who's count? That's great. Thank you. You're working with... That was just... Yeah. You can't get away with it, right? I can't say it. Come on, we can say it together. Uh, we're, we're, I'm working with Al. Let's say it together, sure. Al. Al. I got to say Al. <laughs> You're here for a few minutes and then you leave. Me, they fire. <laughs> Gotta play the game. Uh, Insomnia is in theaters now. Congratulations. Thank People you. People really love this movie. Thank uh, you. Hillary... I'm going tonight, too. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'll see you there. Uh, Hillary Swank, thank you so much for being here. Terrific having you on the show. Steve Harvey coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.